Hi friends! I'm so glad you're here with me again today. Um, today is Thursday and today is the day that our bus drivers are coming around and giving you your home pet tasks and your food and some of you have already gotten all of those things and I hope that you have started to enjoy what's there. Um, we've worked hard to put that together for you and I hope you like it. Um, we're gonna do, uh, let's, let's start off our circle time today. Let's sing our song. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you this special day? I'm so glad you came today. Hello, hello, how are you? All right, I'm glad you guys are doing well, and I, well, I hope you are all doing well. Let's do our counting, okay? Let's start around, and let's start with here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's right, nine. All right, let's count in Spanish. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Good work, friends. All right, I have a story that I want to read to you. I'm going to read two stories today. Isn't that fun? Um, so the first story is a story, excuse me, that we've read in class before, but I wanted to remind you of it. And it's this is a little bit different version. And I have a friend who's going to help us do the story. Let's see if I can do this, okay? Do you guys remember the story of Tucker the turtle? Here's Tucker. Hi, you guys! Look at that. Tucker has come to join us to read this story. All right. Tucker, can you help me read this story? All right. Here we go. I'm going to read, and Tucker's going to help me hold the pictures. Okay? All right. Tucker the turtle takes time to tuck and think at home. So this one is about him thinking at home and not at school. Okay? Because we can still use the same techniques we use at school at home. So it says, Tucker Turtle is a terrific turtle. He lives in a pond. He lives with his family in a small pond. It says, hi, I'm Tucker. It's you, Tucker. How funny. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going to happen to Tucker. Sometimes things happen that make Tucker really mad. And here it says, you can't play with us. So his other, his other family at his house say so he can't play. He's, and Tucker says, that makes me mad. It's time to stop playing and get ready for dinner, Mom says. It used to be that when Tucker got mad, he would kick, hit, or yell at his family and friends. His family and friends would get sad, and they would get scared when Tucker would do that. Do you remember that, Tucker? Oh, man. That's not good when our family feels scared or, or um, sad, huh? Tucker now knows a new way to stay calm when he gets mad. <gasps> Tucker, are you going to teach us this th how to do this? All right, do you guys remember how to do it? Let's see. He can stop yelling and keep his hands and his body to himself. So you can stop doing what you're doing. Okay, and then what? He can tuck inside his shell and take three deep breaths. Can you show us how to do that, Tucker? I can. Here we go. Let's show, show us, Tucker. Ooh. He tucked in his shell and he's going to take three deep breaths. Let's do it with him. Ready?
Good job taking your breaths. All right. Tucker can then think of a solution to solve his problem. When he takes his deep breaths, it helps Tucker calm down, doesn't it, Tucker? It helps his body get calm and it helps us relax when we take deep breaths. When Tucker stops and thinks, his body is calm and it feels better. When he uses gent then when he uses gentle touches and kind words with his family and friends, they feel happy and safe. And we want our family to feel happy and safe, don't we? Our brothers and sisters or our cousins or our parents, right? Tucker's family practices stopping and thinking together using Tucker's new way to calm down. And they all say goodbye. So they're all, what are they doing? When they're saying goodbye right there, what are they doing? Are they tucking in just like Tucker can tuck in? Yeah, they're tucking their body in, aren't they? All right, so the turtle technique, the Tucker technique, what do we do? It says right here, I'm going to put Tucker down on the, on the table right here, okay? But he's going to say goodbye. Bye, everyone. All right, Tucker's going to sit over here and watch. All right, so the, the turtle technique is you're going to stop. And you're going to think. Stop what you're doing. Then you're going to... Oh, first it says you're going to recognize your feelings. You're going to realize that you're upset. Or you're, um, you're sad. Or you're angry. Or whatever it is. And then you're going to stop doing the things that you're doing. You're going to pull inside yourself. And you're going to take three deep breaths. And this might mean you need to go find a place to be by yourself for a few minutes so you can do this. And then you're going to think of a solution, what you can do to make the problem better. If your mommy, like Tucker said, Tucker's mom said that um, it was time to go inside for, um, where's the page? It's time to go inside for dinner. And Tucker didn't want to go inside for dinner, did he? So, um, here we go. Here she says, it's time to go inside for dinner. And Tucker was mad because he wanted to keep playing. So what was the solution? Can you think of anything? Could he say, okay, mom, but can I come play after dinner? Yeah, I think he could say that. What about if his friends say, you can't play with us? Or if his brother or sister or cousin say, you can't play with us, what could he do? He could tell, tell them how he feels. That, that makes me feel sad. Um, and if, his, if they still keep saying it, he could maybe, what could he do? If they keep saying, you can't play with us, maybe he could go, yeah, he could go tell his mom, yeah, and then she can help him solve the problem, huh? So there's always a solution um, instead of getting upset and hitting and kicking, right? All right. I want to read us a fun book today, okay? And I told you yesterday when we read a Pete the Cat book that Pete might come visit. What do you think? Here he is. Woo, he's going to go for a dive. <laughs> Here's Pete. He's here to visit. And he's going to sit in the corner right here while we read the book, okay? Because I have another Pete the Cat book to read. All right. This one is Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. Do you love your white shoes, Pete? All right. Don't fall over, Pete. <laughs> okay, let's see. And this book again, um, P the title is Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. And the art is by James Dean. And the story, the words, are by Eric Litwin. Okay. 
So let's find the first page, because we always start reading on the first page, right? Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much that he sang a song. Of course he did, right? I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? If he stepped in these strawberries, what color would his shoes be? Red! Yes, they would be red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Pete never cries, does he? He kept walking along and singing his song. And here he says, Everything is cool. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. Oh no, Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Blue, his sure shoes turned blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. He says, awesome. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? What color is the mud? Brown. That's right. It's brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept singing his, he kept walking along and singing his song. Groovy. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Oh, no. Pete stepped in a bucket of water. And all of the brown and all of the blue and all of the red were washed away. What color did his shoe are his shoes? What color were his shoes again? If all those colors, the brown, the blue, and the red got washed away, what color would his shoes be? White, yes. But now they are wet shoes. Do you like walking in wet shoes? I don't like walking in wet shoes. Did but did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. And he says, rock and roll. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. The moral of Pete's story is no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. He's got one of each color. Shoe. What color was this one? Red and brown and blue and white. Yeah. Because it's all good. All right. I really like Pete the Cat books. Thank you, Pete, for making books for us. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> all right. Okay, friends, that's all I've got for us today. We're going to um, sing our goodbye song. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. All right, we'll see you again next week. Have a good weekend, guys.